Hello everybody and good evening. My name is Sora Darchild and welcome back to Let's Replay Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. Last time we pretty much just started the 11th case in the series and it was on the track down of a thief called Mask de Mask who has stolen the sacred urn in the uh in an, for an exhibit, and apparently the guy who called us happens to be the thief himself. Although, based on how he appears, he's pretty much just a very timid person who looks like he couldn't hold up a heist in his life. But, all in all, we still gotta defend him, and apparently our companion, Pearl, did not take too kindly to that. Which is where we ended last episode. So, we're gonna continue where we left off. Finish the first day investigation. Um, sorry about that. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. Well, you couldn't have known she'd react like that. I guess I might as well start investigating. Oh, Maya! Where's Pearls? She said she's going back to the office. Go check on her later, would you? And what about you? Are you okay with me taking Mr. Delight's case? Yeah, I'm fine, Nick. Appreciate it. Okay, Nick. Let's get this show on the road. Okay. Why don't we pay a visit to Pearl, see how she's holding up on this. October 12th, Wright and Cole Law Office. Ah, Mr. Nick. Oh, welcome back. Oh, hey, Pearls. You're back too, I see. I, um, I went and bought a strawberry cake. I'll go make some tea with it. Hey, uh, Pearls. It looks like she feels really bad about what happened at the detention center. Mr. Nick, uh, I was wrong about you. Ah. Uh, I shouldn't have trusted you. I'll never forgive you. Ever. Mystic Maya, the tea is ready. Oh. Where is she making the tea? Because I don't think a attorney's office has a thing for making tea. Unless Mia had one installed in her office before she died. Thanks. Um, pearls. Oh, excuse me. I was in the middle of cleaning the toilet. Hey, it's okay. I cl just cleaned it this morning. Too late. This might be a good time for me to ask about her. Indeed it is, Phoenix. The first time I met Pearls was a year ago. It was when that murder happened in Curane Village. I still remember what she said to me when we first met. You... You're Mr. Nick, right? You're... You're Mr. Maya's special someone. Hey, uh, Maya? I always thought it was because she was young, but... But what? Pearls, 
I think she's got the wrong idea. About... you and me? Uh-huh. Um... Uh, there's something you need to understand. What is it? It's kind of like carrying custom of sort. Village custom, huh? you mention it, I never actually saw any men there when I visited. I'm pretty sure I told you about it a long time ago. But how spiritual powers run very strong in the Fey family. Yeah, you did. And that's why you're undergoing training to be a spirit medium, right? Yeah, the only thing is, only women can actually inherit the spiritual power. That's why the whole culture of Kyrian Village kind of revolves around its women. Well, that's understandable. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, yeah! But because of that, there tends to be a lot of unsuccessful marriages. Oh. Well... Men start to feel left out after a while, and then they just start leaving. Especially if the man has a daughter. That's inhuman. Are you saying that Pearl's father? He's gone. He left the village when she was very young. Boy, that's tough. Yeah. I grew up seeing nothing but unhappy marriages all around her. That's why she's so sensitive to things like that. Okay. What about you? Pearl seems to love you a lot. Well, it's because I'm her only cousin. Well, because of the murder case last year, Pearlie's mother is... remember now. Pearl's mother, Morgan Fay. She's serving a prison term in isolation right now. So you see, I'm the only family Pearlie has right now. But it's the same for me too. Maya. My mother's gone too. So, your mother's still missing? Yeah, no one has any idea where she is. Maya's mother, Misty Fay. The current master of the curing channeling technique. She disappeared 17 years ago after getting involved in a certain case. But... You're sure she's still alive, right? Yeah, I know she is. It's a uh, sort of a medium spirit thing. And if your mother doesn't come back, then what? Then according to the laws of the village, I'll become the next master. Mistake Maya, master of the channeling, curing channeling technique. Sounds like a heavy responsibility. Yeah. But there's no one else with the blood of the Fae fa main family who's a spirit medium. Well, Nick, why don't we go out and start investigating? We're not just gonna learn anything sitting around the office. Yeah, I know, but first, I want to talk to Pearls. Um, Mr. Nick? Yeah? What is it? I acted like a baby. Pearls. I doubted you, even though Mystic Maya trusted you completely. I guess I still have a lot of training to do, Mr. Nick. That's just part of growing up, kid. 
Yes? I, from the bottom of my heart, I apologize for what I said. Uh, it's okay. Well, I'm going out now for a little bit. Huh? Where are you going? I may be small, but I still have a lot of spirit channeling power. So I'm going to show you I can be useful too, by finding some evidence. Hey, wait up! She sure runs fast. Nick, let's back off and give her some room, okay? Yeah. And that's it for business here. Time to head back to the main ex expedition hallway. October 12th, Lordly Taylor, Main Exhibition Hall. M Maya? Oh, Miss Andrews. I'm so sorry. It's my fault. Your precious urn. Your precious urn! Please, c calm down. What's wrong? It never ends. Everything I touch ends in failure. Maya, I'm sorry. I'll do anything to make it up to you. Uh, oh no, no. I know I don't look it, but I'm good with my hands. I could make you another urn. Hold on, just wait, okay? Breathe, calm down and talk to us. Forgive me, please, just forgive me. Um, so... When did you get the calling card from Mask to Mask? Let's see, exactly ten days ago. I was going to show the police, but that detective stopped me. Um, so you asked Detective at me to help with security? Yes. In fact, it was about twenty days ago that I hired him. You seem to know much more about Mask to Mask than the police. So, you hired him for security, even before the calling card arrived? That's a tad bit suspicious. Well, yes. I had a premonition of something bad happened. I learned to trust my hunches. So, that's why your se- So, that's why there were security cameras even in the basement warehouse? Yes, Lord B. Taylor is very serious about their security measures. It's a weird, weird way of saying, bring it on, to any potential thieves. Well, he sure brought it all right. Last night, and even left with a nice souvenir. Um, can you tell us a bit about the security for the treasure exhibit? It was all my fault. I never should have called this paltry little collection of stress exhibit thing anyway. Why do you say that? The urn that was stolen is a pretty important object. Maybe, but its actual value after the appraisal was practically zero. Zero? I polished it and told it was about glowing. I thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. But, but that contains the soul of Mr. Gami! Anyway, I left all the security arrangements to Detective Atme. That's probably one thing you shouldn't have done. Five days ago, I began seeing all sorts of other exhibits from Korean. Lots of people starting, started going in and out of the warehouse down there. So maybe one of them was actually Master mask, mask in disguise. No, I personally checked out everyone that came through here, so that's not possible. Knowing Adrian, she probably even checked out well, what they ate for breakfast that morning. And unfortunately, that's all the information we're gonna get out of her, so time to move to the... At me, detective agency. We need a word with that detective. October 12th, at me, detective agency. Hello? 
Well, well, how lovely it is to see you again, my dear. Welcome to my abode. Relax and soak up the atmosphere. Uh, um, we're actually kind of... Shh, silence. <laughs> Precisely as I expected. What's this? Zai! The truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me. A lawyer and a spirit medium. Am I correct, no? Um, I think we've already been through this. Ha! Huh. So my estimation was correct. Zvari, how truly elegant. Now then, what can I do for you? We want to talk to you, buddy. You mentioned and before that you were on guard duty all alone that night. Precisely. This is my fifth encounter with my arch enemy. I refuse to allow anyone to interfere with the rightful pursuit of my prey. I've heard you've been after Mastinesk since the very first act. Yes, my dear. I see you've done your homework. In his very first ice, that vile thief pilfered the famous jewel of the Tear of Enemon. The first I first encountered him in the museum's sacred hall, the crime scene itself. So that's why you were hired as a security for the treasure exhibit? Pretty sure he said that Adrian Andrews hired him? Yes, I borrowed some equipment from the Lordly Taylor at the set of the perfect trap. You must mean the security camera. But I thought you were watching the area yourself, too. So how did Master Mask manage to steal the urn? That's the million dollar question. What is Damask small was this opendi. Um Mr. Atney, do you know about the sacred egg? I'm interested in only one thing, my dear, and that is Mask Damask. Sacred urn? <laughs> that has nothing to do with this case. But wasn't that what Master Mask stole this time? I'm a hunter, sir. The urn was nothing more than a lure to catch my prey. Do you yourselves remember the shape of the individual pin peanuts you throw at pigeons? I don't think I like this guy's attitude, Nick. Well, anyway, it looks like he doesn't know about the urn. Um, there's something that's kind of bothering me. Please, my dear, ask me anything you'd like. After all, oh, are we all but seekers wandering alone in the dark? Well, I was wondering how Masty Mass managed to steal the urn. I mean, isn't it strange that you don't seem to know? Yeah, now that you mention it, it is strange. After all, you were the one on guard that night at the scene of the crime. Unless you were sound asleep, you should have at least seen Master Mask. <laughs> eh, just as I feared. What the? It's a Cyclock! Cyclock? Alrighty then. It's time to set open that Cyclock. Take that! I think we have just the right evidence to break that thing open. Nick, go for it. 
Let's break that psych lock of his. Detective Atme, you were standing guard at the scene of the crime. There's no way you didn't see Master Mask commit the crime. Well, now, I can at least see why you're so pos positive about that. Yes, indeed, I was got in the warehouse. Was that was it true. But I can tell you for certain that not a single person passed through that door. I'm not sure why, but this Atme guy is lying through his teeth. And I think his nose just grew too. I know. I'll show him some proof. Detective Atme, I have here proof that someone went through the door that night. Take that! There was a security camera set up at the scene of the crime. It should have automatically taken a photo of anyone that went through that door. Precisely. I hope you don't mind, but we've already gotten our hands on the com camera data. As you can see, the camera only went off exactly once that night. What? B but my monocle didn't catch any one in its flesh. It must be some kind of computer malfunction. It, it must be. Maybe it was your monocle that malfunctioned. W what? Are you saying that I didn't do my duty properly? Detective at me. You must have seen the thief last night. The question is why are you trying to hide it? If he's hiding it, there must be some reason. Some reason that the... Dis and he desperately wants to keep hidden. And I've got just the piece of evidence that should prove it. Okay. Let's suppose you didn't see Master Mask. In that case, the reason you didn't see him, him this time was because you were unconscious. I'm afraid that making a guess is not enough. Time to put your money where your mouth is. Show me your evidence. You want evidence? Here's your evidence. Take that! Detective at me. You were knocked unconscious by the thief, weren't you? <laughs> Surely you must be joking. You think I, look at me, could be knocked unconscious so easily? This sword proves it. Eh? That's... Before the thief... Before the theft, this sword was in the hand of the statue of Im Almy Fay. Furthermore, at the time, it was not bent. There's only one explanation. You were struck on the head and knocked unconscious by this sword. Well, detective, how about it? I'm impressed. You truly are an ace attorney. Roll credits! Unlock successful. I can't deny that there was any small hint of truth in what you say. So, you were knocked out when the thief first clobbered you? Clobbered? What an ugly way of saying it. But I suppose you could put it that way. The coward struck me at the precise moment that I turned to look at the computer. So you never noticed that the thief had entered the warehouse. No. The coward must have wormed his way in through somewhere besides the door. Perhaps the air ducts or the sewer pipes. Then my arch nemesis struck me on the head from behind with this gruesome item here. Ouch. He should have 
should have his poor head examined. I'll say. You can say that again. How could he have underestimated the thieves that badly? Also, how did he not get a concussion from being knocked on the head like that? Well, it looks like we got uh, one thing cleared up anyway. Huh? What? That at me is the greatest ace detective in the world? No, that he never actually saw the thief. Oh, that's right. So the thief might not even be masked to mask. Just a moment, cellular. The thief was unquestionably masked to mask. But you never actually saw him. Perhaps so. But I installed a security camera just so... Just such a condensed... However, however you say that word. Oh. Last night, the camera went off exactly once. Behold! This is the photo of the dastardly thief taken by the security camera. That's him! Mask the mask! The thief can be none other than the arch criminal Mask the Mask. After all, oh, he's the very good reason for committed. He has a very good reason for committing such a brazen crimes. W what are you talking about? So, what did you mean by, he had a very good reason? Exactly that. Mr. Delight had a very good reason to dress up and commit those crimes. There should be a green envelope somewhere in his room. You'll need to go and investigate. But how would you know that? Hmm. Have you forgotten? You're speaking to the finest ex detective ever to walk on the face of the earth. The most brilliant mind since, well, ever. Look at me. <sighs> well, I guess we better go take a look, just in case. Yeah, we checked this in the last episode, but nothing happened. Let's check it now. Hey, Nick. Remember what Detective Atme said? Exactly that. Mr. Delight had a very good reason to com dress up and commit those crimes. There should be a green envelope somewhere in his room. You'll need to go and investigate. Green envelope, huh? Looks like this is it. Okay, let's have a look. If you don't want your true identity revealed to the world, come to KB Security at 1 a.m. on October 12th and bring th 50,000? This is a blackmail letter. Sure looks like a major clue, all right. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll be right back. Won't take but a second, I promise. Oh, thank you for coming. That's so nice of you. When I see a damsel in distress, I just can't help myself. Please come in. I'll make some coffee. Really? Okay. I guess I'll make my soap at home, pretty lady. Wait a minute. I know that voice. Oh, Nicky boy. I'm so sorry. But I have another guest. What? You! You're... Nick! It's you! And Maya too! What a fluke! 
Larry! Long time no see! What? You know each other? Nicky boy? Nick! Do you and this girl have, you know, something going on? S something I understand you, Nick! A gorgeous lady like this? And Mary, too! Way to go, dude! I knew it. Just when things can't get any worse, it's time to cue in the butts. Larry Butts. Ever since grade school, he's been... Not exactly a close friend. But, yeah. We know each other. Hey, man! That wasn't nice! I was your very first client! You've got quite the storied history, he and I. And what we used to say still rings true. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Hey, come on now! You're embarrassing me! And in front of this pretty little thing here. So you two are childhood friends, I see. That's so sweet. You two can go ahead and catch up on all times. I gotta go check on my bike. Nice girl, that Desi. So, how you been, Nick? Too busy if you really want to know. So, what have you been up to this whole time? It's been two years since I've heard from you. And what's with those clothes? You look, well, weird. Hey, man! That's all called for! This is my uniform for my part-time job! But I can't believe it's been two years! They say time flies when you're having fun! <laughs> huh? What's wrong? Nick, I gotta tell you, women, I don't trust them anymore. I got... You got dumped again? Well, you know Benifer. Her, I followed her all the way to Japan two years ago. That's where I met the famous Caddy Tom, and my whole life changed. Benefactor. Benifer. Caddy Tom. I've never heard either of them. Anyway, dude, Caddy Tom chose Hollywood over me. Can you believe it? Women, they're so, so, ah. Oh, but you're different, Maya. You're not like the rest. Looks like he's still the same old Larry. So, what are you doing here anyway? Huh? What do you mean by that? I'm just a natural born nice guy, that's all! Well, actually, I picked up this last night. Hey, while I was working. A wallet? You say you found this last night? Yeah, it had a driver's license in it, so I figured I'd just return it myself. Huh, he found Ron's wallet. Wait a minute, where did he find that? Hang on. Let me see that for a minute. I knew it. Desi's picture is in here. Yeah! I guess he really digs his wife, huh? Hey, Nick! It's not what you're thinking at all! No, I'm pretty sure it is. You haven't changed a bit. Ah, uh, no way, man! I mean, she's a married woman! That's just bad news! This coming from a guy who followed his girlfriend to Japan for two years? Dude, that's called stalking. He really is here just to check out Miss Delight. 
So you said you found it at your job, right? Yeah! I'm working for a private security company as a guard! Chicks just love a guy in uniform, you know? A security guard, huh? So that's what the uniform is all about. So what time was it when you found this wallet last night? This? Huh. Why are you asking that? Trying to see if I've got an alibi? Um, you're not the one on the hook for a crime this time, buddy. I guess it was around 1 in the morning on the first floor of our company building. What was Mr. Delight's wallet doing there? Anyway, there's nothing weird about that. After all, he works there. He works there? You mean Mr. Delight? Sure. Here, take a look at this. It's right here in his wallet. What's this card? It's a key card for the security company. See? It's got a serial number right on there. Her. There's no mistake about it. You said you were working part-time at the security company, right? That's right. Well, why are you asking me making that scary face? Security company, huh? Something's not quite get secure about Larry working there. I need to find out as much as I can about this key card. Alrighty. So, you're sure about this card, Larry? Yup! That's the key card to we use in the building I work in. According to the serial number, this one's for the CEO's office. You need it to get into that room. And every time you use that card, it leaves a record! It leaves a record? Yeah! It tells you exactly who entered the room and when! Larry! I need that data! Whoa! Slow down, man! Sorry, but that data is off limits to outsiders! If I lost this job, I'd never get a chance with Desi! Times like this when I wish my lawyer powers weren't so powerless. Alright. How about this, Larry? Hey, Larry. What about this? What? If you got something to say, then just say it already! Huh? A blackmail letter?! Do you know anything about this? What? I don't know anything about how oh, Alex is, and that's the truth! Huh? What? I can't believe you do this to me! I thought you were my friend! Fifty thousand dollars? I don't have that kind of money! No, no, I, you don't understand. This blackmail letter is sent to Ron Delight. Wait, what? Phew! Man, you scared me! I almost had a heart attack, you idiot! Wait, I'm the idiot? Man, I was totally confused, but it's... Because it says KB Security right there on the envelope. Um, so, uh, what? Yeah, um... That's where I got a part-time job! At KB Security! Wait, what? Sounds like I should really find out some more about this KB Security company. KB Security. The company in the blackmail letter. You know about it? That's where I work, yeah! In fact, I'm on the job right now! Huh? So then what are you, are you doing, doing here? here? <laughs> the boss is away right now, 
And you know what mice do when the cat's away? Yes, yes. <sighs> anyway, how far is this company? Let me see. About 30 minutes by car, I guess. Well, if you fly down the road, anyway. Hmm. Well, this apartment building is and pretty close to Lordly Taylor, hour right? To go from here to KB Security and back. If Rondelite was at <gasps> KB Security oh, when the robbery the occurred, the then. Where are you? I thought I'd go to Lordly Taylor to find some more clues, but I'm afraid I've gotten lost. What? <laughs> Give me that phone, Nick. Pearly, where are you right now? Um, I was walking along and I found myself in front of that person's office. That person? Who? Um, the person who doesn't act as agent always says, when he's excited. Blue cat me. D Ace detective. Okay, stay right there. We're coming to get you. Uh, alright. I'm a little scared. Alright, let's go, Maya. Wait a second, Nick! But what? That phone call just now sounded like a real cutie! Another one of your <laughs> special friends? Say goodbye to Miss Delight for me, would you, Larry? Dude, that's disgusting. She's a six year old, you fool. October 12th, at me detective agency. Ah, Mr. Nick, Mystic Maya. Curly, I never thought I'd see the two of you again. So, is Mr. Ace Detective out of the office? Yes. When I arrived here, there wasn't a single soul in sight. Say, Nick, doesn't it look like something's changed since we were here last? Now that you mention it, let's examine this bag that wasn't here last time we showed up. This bag? I'm sure it wasn't here before. It looks quite full. I wonder what could be in there. Hey Nick, come on. Open it up. Hey, wait a minute. We can't just open this private property. Don't be such a fuddy-duddy. This is an important investigation. That's true. And the truth be told, I have to admit, I'm a little kind of curious. Well, what's in there? H hang on a sec. Heck, I'm taking it out now. Whatever it is, it feels kind of hard and smooth. Well, hello there. Ah! He he's here! What are you doing, Celoya? I'm shocked to see a servant of the court ignoring the law of flagrancy. Uh, I'm really sorry. Maya made me do it. Nick, I can't believe you. A gentleman never uses a lady as an excuse for his own poor behavior. The real question is, can you afford to waste time lollygagging around here? What do you mean by that? Perhaps I should make myself more clear. The moral trial. Zwei! We shall see the pink... 
we shall see the figurative Sir William will be dropped his prince over lunchtime. Wow, Nick. Sounds like it's gonna be real exciting. Um, what's going to happen at the trial tomorrow that's so dramatic? Do you know what your biggest mistake so far has been, Sir Lawyer? It was became a lawyer in the first place. That certainly does sound like a big mistake, Mr. Not helping, kid! Tomorrow oh, will be a day to remember. I, look at me, will take the stand. And then, Swrahi, my testimony will prove to be the undoing of the lot of you. Yes, all of you. I will unmask ask you as the thief's co-conspirators. Conspirators? <laughs> You're quick to the defensive, sir. I see. However, it is not what I shall. That is your greatest enemy. There is far more dangerous threat that you will face during the trial. What are you talking about? Sir Lawyer, if you truly are her who you say, I'm sure you've heard of him. His name is Goldot. Goldot? Um, who is this Goldot person? It's not surprising that a spirit medium has not heard the name. Goldot, the prosecutor whose equal cannot be found on this country, but in heaven! Goldot, a legend or myth, men pin a lifetime of hopes on the chance to simply meet him. Prosecutor. Oh, but the best prosecutor in the country isn't Goda. It's Mr. Edgeworth. Isn't that right, Nick? It's no surprise that a spirit medium such as yourself would know nothing of this. But Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth is currently traveling abroad. Huh? In fact, it was Mr. Edgeworth who acknowledged Godot as the best in this country. Do you agree with that? Most certainly. In fact, you can you could call him the look at me of the prosecutor's office. Well, that's good to hear. The prosecution has a fighting chance tomorrow. Mr. Nick, is this Goda really that strong? Hmm. I seem to remember hearing about someone like that. Not surprising. Some people spend their entire lives idly waiting for his appearance. You are taking a step down the path of foolishness. To try to defend a career criminal who deserves nothing less than the death of penalty. Hey, last time I checked, no one knows for sure that Matt, Mr. Delight is really demasked. <laughs> My dear lady, times may change, but people sadly do not. Well, you will understand this when you are more mature. It looks like we are done investigating for today. <laughs> the stage has been set. And all the pieces are finally in place. All that remains now is for the dance to begin. A new prosecutor, an ace detective, and a thief. This will be one tough trial. 
How will the trial go? Stay tuned for next time and let's replay Ace Attorney Trilogies. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you want. Ring the bell to be notified when our next video comes out. We do new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and occasionally Saturday and Sundays. Till the next part where we're in trial, this is Sword Archild signing off. Have a good night, folks.